Hey, what's going on, Sumolings? This is Doc Williams with AppSumo, and today we're gonna to be talking about Atom.ai. Now, in this video, you're going to be learning three specific things. You're gonna learn who this is perfect for, how you can set up this system to work for you quickly, and how you can do this and make it a game changer for your internal team. So come with me. Okay, everyone, as always, before we get into it, don't forget to go to AppSumo.com and pick this deal up. Now, there's a couple things that you're going to have to think about before you actually get onto the platform and start. Now, this can be used in a lot of different ways. This can be used if you're a project manager, if you're leading a team, or you're a freelancer and you're trying to organize all of your meetings. But think about what you're trying to do first before you look at all the different features. That was my problem. When I first went on this, this platform, I'm like, oh, I see all these different things. And then I got just uh, paralyzed. I couldn't really use the system re very well. Think about what you want to do first. Then get onto the platform. So if you're writing this down, if you're a manager, write down how are you managing people? Are you managing a department? Are you just managing like um, sprints, are you doing, you know, um, different scrums and stuff like that for for freelancers? Are you working with just yourself? Are you working within a team? Write down all of those descriptions before you even go onto the platform. And I'll explain why right when we, we go on there. Now, to get started, you just go to adam.ai. Uh, once you're there, you're going to, of course, use that coupon code, all that kind of good stuff, and uh, and you'll be ready to go. Now, I'm going to show you uh, once you sign in and you you know redeem your coupon what it looks like. Now, when you're on the dashboard, you're going to be prompted to create projects. Now, let's just make this real simple before we get started. Projects are really going to be the basis of everything. So if I'm a freelancer, I'm going to use projects and I would name it each person. So if I have a project, I would say client one or I describe client this one, that would be the project. If I'm internally in a company, I would probably create a project with the name of the department and what the project I'm working on. Okay, so that's going to be like the main foundation of everything. Because once you go into a project, you're going to be able to see at a bird's eye view what's going on with that entire either client, if I'm a freelancer, or project or department, if I'm a manager. For example, once I create a, uh, a project, I can then look at all of the meetings, all the things that happen with actions and decisions. This is really important because if you're reporting to someone or if you're now in a meeting explaining what's going on with that project, why is it not on time, what's going on, you can then look at the timeline and see down here, I've had this many meetings with this department or this person. This was the agenda, these were the action items, but look what happened. Right here after meeting seven, this went off the rails because they didn't take this action, blah, blah, blah. So right here, it shows you what's going on with your meetings, what's happening with actions and then decisions. So it's really a concise, uh, I feel like uh, database to show what's happening in real time. And instead of you hunting for every file, hunting for what happened, going through emails, trying to justify, you know, this is what happened, this is why it happened. You have something right here that is so easy to send out to your team, to talk to your managers, to talk to your boss, what's happening. And what they're doing soon is you're going to be able to export this timeline. So as you're building this, as you're doing things in the company, you can send this out to your clients. You can send this out to other departments so they can have that bird's eye view and know the validity of what you're talking about. So that timeline export uh, option is going to actually be coming out soon. It's on their roadmap. Um, so yeah, so that's what I really like about uh, projects. And the first time I was doing this, I didn't understand. I was approaching it from the opposite way. So the projects, again, it can be 
each project can be a certain client or it can be a department or what you're working on with that product launch. Now going into meetings, right now they don't have this, but um, I'm, you know, it's on the roadmap, so I'm excited about this. You can duplicate, you're gonna be able to duplicate your projects and duplicate meetings. So then you're gonna be able to have very specific SOPs where, hey, we started this kind of project or we're working with this kind of client, let's duplicate the meetings, let's duplicate the project. That's gonna be a huge, huge help. Um, after you have uh, a meeting, you're going to be able, let's view this real quick. It's gonna have running notes, so then you can export it, send it to your clients of what, what happened, all of those things. For right now, you can't give actions to your guests. So I would probably have my clients as guests, I wouldn't have them as an internal member. That's just me. I guess if you got a certain amount of, let's see, if you go to, I guess if you buy a double, you could have 40 users. If you're a freelancer, you don't have that many clients, I guess you could have them in users and then you can assign tasks. Personally, me, I wouldn't have my, um, I would want them to have limited access. I guess maybe members, you can probably limit their access. To me, I'm just gonna have them external. I'm not gonna mess with that. But if you wanna assign tasks to them, you would have to make them members. Anyway, as you're going through that, at the bare minimum, if you don't wanna make them members, you can send them uh, the running notes and you can actually down here add notes and um, I believe you can highlight, yep, smart highlights. You can start showing them, okay, this is what I need you to do. And again, after you're done, the meeting will then fit inside the project. So when you review with a client, you know, every month, three months, you know, every quarter, six months, whatever, you can then show them a composite of, we've had X amount of meetings, we've accomplished this month, and it's a nice composite profile of what happened with their, with their project and uh, how you've benefited their company or, you know, launched that product. So I like that a lot. Um, the other things that I had questions on, I said, why did why is it called AI? Like, what what's the point of that? I don't see anything AI about it. That's going to be coming in the next couple of months. But basically, it's going to be a meeting assistant. So it's going to help you through setting up everything. You're going to be able to ask uh, Adam different questions, and it's going to be able to find information for you, such as the running time, looking for certain information. So it's going to be a really good assistant to help you search and and find different things. Also, there's going to be a feature coming up with the highlights of audio. So it's going to be able to listen if you enable it to, to create um, highlights throughout the audio. So that's pretty cool. And um, and again, they're they're open to hear what everyone's saying. And uh, and they're I, I like the team. This was really good. And you know, if you've seen some of my other reviews, if, if I'm not, if I don't really like what's going on, I'll say it. So I'm not just saying that because I'm talking about this one. Um, a couple things that, uh, that I didn't know that after talking to the team makes a lot of sense. If you look at creating, <laughs> I'm going to go to, oh, creating a project, um, project code. So the team was talking about this is for enterprise or if you're you know having a very specific team inside the company that like you want an association they have that right here so it's easier to search through i thought that was a pretty interesting feature i was just making up random numbers or making my own catalog but it, it makes sense that if you're working inside a bigger company and you have to have a project code you can associate it with all of the projects and meetings thought that was awesome um, out of talking about all the different personas, if I was to get this for right now, I think this is meant for, and of course they have three personas. So managers, team, and solo, because they don't have a lot of the features yet that I would want as a guest, like having the invite for the guest and then being able to assign a guest, um, different actions. I think this is best for project managers right here, or if you're a freelancer and you're needing to keep track of a lot of clients and you are very organized, this would be a dream come true. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of what I've done in the past, 
and um, how this is far superior. When I was working with a lot of my clients, I would just use a Google document. And uh, for a lot of times I still do. And I just see what's my benchmarks, what am I talking about them? And then I just have them when they completed it, their deadlines and then notes if they've had any problems. And then when I'm on the call, I just jump on them and like, okay, let's go through what we assigned. Yes, no, what happened? And we go from there. With Adam AI, it kind of takes that up a notch, a couple notches, because if I did that and I recorded it in the meetings, I could have a composite timeline that showed the dips and you know the ups and downs of what happened when I worked with the person. And then the justification of what happened, if it went really well or if it didn't go well, it's all shown from the timeline and everyone's on the same page. And because it's recorded in a way that they've been to all the meetings or their team has been on on those meetings and the actions and decisions are directly correlated what they did and what they didn't do um, now i have more justification so uh, that's just something that i i noticed using the platform i'm super excited about a lot of the other things that they're having with uh, having that meeting assistant but if i was a project manager or if i'm juggling and dealing with a lot of clients I think this is an awesome hub to start to really be able to control the meetings and have a balance with what I'm doing in my schedule. So as always, Sumalinks, remember if you're interested in this product, if you've already bought it and you want to take your game up a level, comment below this video. I'm always answering your questions and I'll see you in the next video.